Hey guys, how's it going? RC Patina guy here. I got some requests on uh, on Instagram on um, showing you guys how I installed this engine. So I thought I'd share it with you guys. This is El Machete, my Chrome 64 with an LS, huge engine in there. Um, this engine I, I found online probably like two or three years ago um, and totally forgot about it and it was made for a Vanquish crawler or Phoenix so it goes over the servos in the front um, but then I found it and I thought man this would be great to fit in there it's the right size it's a little big but you know it's kind of proportionate um, and I thought I'd, I'd use it for this build uh, I have another one too I have this one here that I had 3d printed um, and this was for a rat rod I was gonna do uh, and but I never never got around to it um, this was made for this chassis as well it has these stacks um, which I would have to cut out holes in the in the hood um, and it was a pretty good size not too bad it could be a little bit bigger wider but you know it works so I painted it black because I'm gonna chrome it out um, and I always do black before you chrome to get that nice shiny look um, so yeah, so these will probably be modified, cut the smokestacks out, put some headers, um, or just leave it out with no headers and keep the turbos. And then that way this will fit in there without having to cut holes in the hood. Um, but this might be available probably in a month or so. Um, I gotta, you know, print it out and make sure it's good. And, uh, and then maybe I'll put it on my website for sale. Probably go around, I don't know, about 50 bucks for this one. Um, if you want it painted, then it'll probably up you another, you know, 30 bucks to paint it. But, um, yeah, so that's that engine. Let's take a look at this one. And I'll show you how I installed it and what I used. So here's a hint. Magnets. I love magnets. I used it for the boot. You can see back here how I have it. And it just snaps right in so i love magnets so we'll pull that off and then also my plaque i also use magnets earth magnets which work great so you don't have to glue anything if you want to remove it you know you can remove it it's there so that's that and then also my center consoles i still have for sale um, i also use earth magnets on there and then um that way you can stick them on right there and remove them if you want or you know it's just i don't know i found it cleaner and easier than um using glue so that's that so let me um show you guys how i installed this engine Move the rear okay so what i did is on the mounts i cut the opening from the, the nipples that fit into the chassis. So I cut that out so that the engine could fit, um, so you could put the body on. Uh, they still fit into that. You could uh, probably, I could probably cut the nipples on, put some magnets on there, probably be a lot better. It'll uh, be more secure. So that's that. Now here's the engine. Adjust the camera. This is a 3D printed engine. It comes apart, has a lot of screws in here. So I took it apart, painted it, like I said, black, and then um, painted it with, uh, you know, just regular paint. And it came out really cool. I also added a magnet, an earth magnet, a really thin earth magnet in the back. I added some earth magnets on the bottom, different sizes. And you can see here where they attach. So these are um, these are crawler weights for your tires that I use um, on here just to stack them up because they're small enough and they give some weight to it. And then I added an earth magnet at the top. And um, and then I created this firewall out of uh, thin aluminum. 0 0.008 um, was a good thickness, malleable and you know easy to cut. Um, so I created a pattern. Uh, out of this, I, I made a, I got a pattern, cut it out, 
and then I, at the top I folded it over so that it has a lip and so it fits nice and snug and I attached it um, to the firewalls with uh, double-sided clear tape so all this is all removable and it also clears um, the arms for the, all the articulation. Um, the only thing I did have to adjust right here, I don't know if you can see it here, let me zoom in. Um, the steering servo hits right there, so I'm just going to cut a little um, circle around that so that when it does turn, it doesn't hit. Right now I can't, it's kind of popping out. You can see it. Well, let me get closer, there it is. So it's just hitting it a little bit, so I got to adjust that. So um, that'll be that modification. Now, with the magnets, let me zoom out here. With the magnets, it, it just snaps right in, and it's pretty secure. So if you're hopping, you know it's not. Let me move the gun out of the way. It's not gonna. It's not moving anywhere because it's magnetized. So that's the cool thing about it. Is I love magnets, so it just sits right on there. You can see how um, it's just it's really really secure. And I this one was um, this engine. It came across all the way because this one's made for Vanquish uh, Phoenix crawler, and um, it fits over the servos in the front. I don't know if you guys have ever seen. Um, I know a lot of uh, Red Cat Lowrider guys have seen these crawlers, but. Uh, it fits right over that. Um, so I had to just trim this off so that it'll have that space. And the cool thing is that when you put it on there, you can't really, like the spacing here, it doesn't really matter because you can't see it um, from the top view anyways. Um, but the engine works good. It's clear of any um, any moving, you know, arms or, or uh, what do you call them? Um, the uh shock towers doesn't doesn't affect that so it worked out really well so that's how i did it guys um if you guys have any questions put some comments below and i'll see if i can answer them um i mainly paint i don't really do a lot of you know little modifications and stuff like this but this was fun dude trying to figure out you know like how am i going to do this what's the best way to do it and using magnets just works out so if you guys ever have um if you guys ever have uh you know anything engine wise there's a there's a great way to do it um i'll be selling these as well um uh, they're pretty expensive the guy that made them you know they're pretty pricey but um i'll be painting them uh, and hopefully i can get some before uh he sells out um, these will probably run, they're expensive to buy them from him, and then plus if I'm going to paint them. So if, uh, if you guys wanted your um, your manifold and your uh, your valve covers to, you know, match your car, I can, you know, sell you the whole thing and paint it for like 120 bucks. And then I'll modify it here, I'll cut it, modify it so that um, it'll stick. I'll send you guys... The earth magnets, um, you have to get your own little weights, but I'll include the earth magnets so that you guys can just attach it. Um, if you guys want me to make a a um, uh, firewall, I can do that as well. That'll be an extra, you know, uh, twenty bucks, so I can you know buy the material and then cut it out, cut out the pattern, and then I'll send you guys that as a whole package. So it'll be 140 bucks for all that. So you could drop that in. All right, guys, thank you much. And like I said, any questions, comments, post on my uh, YouTube video. I hardly make any YouTube videos, but um, I got requests to show how I, how I did this. All right, till the next time, later.